Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with Rachel Harper Skincare. We are doing microneedling again, another round of it. Last time I got it was last year around this time, and I really want to get them more, um, what's it called, consistent. So, I'm gonna get it this time. Let me show you how it looks. Oh wow, mm -hmm. I have a hairy face. You do not, girl. <laughs> This is the stem cells you mentioned? Uh -huh. This is the this is from um, anti age. So this helps to heal the skin. It helps like promote um, like more collagen and everything. This is basically stem cell is like the, the other the cream that's in there. There's a there's step one and step two, mm -hmm. and that's the serum. But this is like even more because this is like the highly concentrated one. So thirty minutes from now. Yes. Okay guys, so this is how my face looks right out. It feels like a sunburn like I mentioned before. Really red. And my lips feel so numbed. I know they feel dry. They're super dry. later provided this little aftercare kit that I have to use until I see her again I'm gonna see her in a week exactly next Friday and I have to be applying this little solution right here give you all more information and the ingredients include human bone marrow stem cell conditioned media and then I have to be applying it every 30 to 40 minutes 30 minutes passed, so I'm just gonna apply more. And I appreciate that it's a roll on. So I'm just. Making sure I'm applying it. And I have to be applying it until basically everything is gone. From this. Come on. Put it on my nose. She mentioned that I don't rinse this off. My lips are still numbed. By the way. All right, I'll catch you guys 30 minutes later. Hey everyone, it is later at night. This is how my skin is looking. I am feeling, I am seeing just dark things right here. It's very um, tight to the touch. I'm gonna put the rest. I have been applying it every 30 minutes. So I can't believe I still have some. It's a pretty small bottle, but I still have some, so I'm gonna apply it. Let this sit overnight, and then the morning is whenever I can use the cleanser. That is it for today. I will keep you posted tomorrow.
Hi guys, it is the next day of the microneedling. This is how my skin is looking. Uh, darkness and the sides of my face. Uh, yeah, it's forming crystals right here. And I'm gonna, now it's the day where I can wash my face. We provided like a little care kit. I'm gonna use the cleanser first. Maybe just one, honestly. This just helps remove any excess blur. And then I'm going to pet dry the face. Apply the serum. How many pumps? Apply one pump morning and night, so. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So this will help the skin heal fast. Honestly, I feel like just one pump helped half of my face. So I feel like I need to use <clears throat> on the other side. Use my daughter first. Oh, that area is a little bit more bad. Oh, I didn't even put on my forehead. You see? So now, poor cup. Totally forgot about it. That is all dried up. Lastly, I will use this step two. It says it is the accelerate accelerator. Also use one pump. I'm not too sure about one pump. But the accelerator, it is rich in moisturizers and packed uh, full powerful actives like vitamin C, vitamin E, retinol alternative, Lacutio, and then this botanical has the same molecular makeup as retinoids and the same effect on the skin without irritation. So, reading off the pamphlet, don't really know exactly what that means, but here we are. Now, I'm just making sure that everything is nice lathered so it can just peel off by itself here's how my skin is looking i will see you guys at night next day guys i don't feel any pain now you can see there's some um, like dry skin just can't be My skin. I already washed my face and I'm going to apply uh, the serum and the other uh, gel that she provided. The second cream, which is the accelerator, is a little bit tougher to move around just because it's thicker. And then whenever I apply the first cream, it does stain a little bit on the sides right here. But I just really make sure to apply it everywhere. Everything gets a nice layer. And that is pretty much it. You could see the separation of the dead little skin scabs. But everything seems to be going nicely. I think you can see pink skin right here. But I'm not peeling this off manually, we're just letting it, we're going with the flow. That is, that's pretty much it. I haven't gotten any new breakouts, which is pretty surprising because I remember the other microneedlings that I've gotten, I would have like a random breakout, but not this time. So. We'll see, we are seeing some peeling, not even peeling, what can we say? Um, like we are seeing that the dead skin is coming off today. So hopefully in the next few days, just keep on happening. It is a little crazy not having to, not being able to go outside because I don't want to go out like this. And if I put on the mask, I have a fear that it might just give me more breakouts. 
so we'll see i'll keep you guys updated tomorrow hey guys it is the next day i am in a different place just to show you some better lighting of how my skin is looking i'm peeling already of the dead skin whenever i wash my face today i was seeing the little bits of dead skin on my hands so it is like crumbling away as you can see that's like new skin i think and then I can wait for the rest. So yeah, now I know whenever I'm washing my face now, the little bits do come off. Because I'm just washing my face with the cleanser. But yeah, so far it's looking great. I will see you guys in the afternoon. Hey guys, so it is nighttime of, what is this? Day, it is Monday. I got it done Friday. Day three? Um, we do have peeling right here. I put the serum and the other cream so it kind of flattened it out, but these are already um, moving around. It looks crazy. Hopefully they can fall off soon because I haven't gone <laughs> anywhere, honestly, because you know, I look crazy. So. This is a dream. See you guys tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is the next day in the morning and my skin, I just washed my face so a lot of that dead skin was able to come off and look these little pieces and there are like a little bit of dead skin around but I'm sure maybe today whenever I shower it could go away but my skin looks really good. Hey guys, next day I just woke up and this is how my skin is looking. This side, all the dead skin sort of already fell off. Just one little tiny piece left, but I, okay, so acne scars still visible, but my rolling ones that are normally like on this side are a little bit more banished. I do see a difference, like an honest difference from how my skin was before I got the microneedling to today. It does look a little bit more firmer and I'm really excited, but I thought this acne scar was gonna go away. Did ask. I thought it was gonna go away. It's still there. Is it ever gonna leave me? I have no idea, but it's still there. I thought it was gonna go away. My skin is red or like pink because of the new skin. So I'll just be making sure to keep on applying that serum and the accelerator. And I can actually go out today. Yesterday I went outside for the first time since I got it done on Friday. And I still had like that dead skin on my sides, but I just put my hair down and you couldn't even tell, and especially when I had my mask on. And right now I'm like 99.9% .9 all dead skin falling off. So I feel just way more comfortable going outside, but I just gotta make sure to wear sunscreen because it is pretty sunny. So I'm gonna put some on, just have to wash my face and i still feel grittiness from the old dead skin like you can see here i still have some old dead skin stuck in there but i think that's why i go back to her on friday again so she can just give me a good cleanse do some extractions and yeah pretty much because right now my skin is like really oh it feels icky even though i wash it like nah, it can't really take off everything but thankfully no new breakouts at all i'm really surprised i don't have any new pimples compared to um, i remember last year whenever i got a micro needling done i would have pimples right here not sure what's different today but my hair looks so crazy i just woke up so i'm sorry but yeah let's go ahead and wash my face i think if i wash my face i'm pretty sure it's gonna fall off but we'll see let's go cleanser Next, I'm gonna do the serum. I'm doing two pumps. Can we look at some there already? I guess my skin really accepts these products. Normally, if my skin doesn't like something, I immediately get a breakout. I start feeling that I'm going to get a breakout, but not with these stuff. So that's. A good sign. 
give me some of my forehead too. Last step is the accelerator, so also two pumps. This one does give my skin a little sting, but just super minor, nothing crazy. And that is it for today. Like I said, I'm gonna go out and do some errands. So for sunscreen, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my favorite right now, the Dr. Dirt. Great for acne and oily prone skin like me. Keeps my skin matte and it has SPS 50 plus mineral sunscreen so i'll apply this but i'll just let these products settle in and dry up a bit before i apply the other sunscreen i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is the next day thursday and the last piece of dead skin fell off yesterday so i am dead skin free and it feels great um i feel so much better now that i can go places and this is how my skin is looking. I feel like in the mornings my skin just looks a little bit acne scarless since it looks my skin looks more puffy and plumpy or whatever. And today's Thursday, so it took about five days for it to really go away. But let's just wash our face. <clears throat> And then tomorrow we're gonna go see Rachel. So, hey guys, so it is Friday. Next day, I am here, ready to go see Rachel. And this is how my skin is looking. And I still have acne scars, but it's totally fine. Because I, don't, I just, I can, I don't. My skin looks brighter. Like, I love it, and I just can't wait for her to do a little facial because I have, I can feel roughness. So we're gonna see how it goes. Mm -hmm. your skin I mean your skin's looking better mm -hmm. for sure like the breakout part of it I mean I feel like we extracted a little bit but it looks good All right guys, so I am out from Rachel. She said my skin is looking so good. Like, I was so proud of myself. But oh, that facial just felt amazing. She like cleansed my face, put like this little snail essence type thing to just really moisturize my skin. And it looks glowy. Okay, so this is how my skin looks after another round of microneedling i'm really gonna try to take pictures this looks like really good lighting and this is a work in progress um and of course with microneedling it is going to take a little bit longer um compared to like a chemical peel or the like fractional fractional laser what's it called the fraction but it's just First of all, it's those procedures are super expensive. $800 or up, honestly, the CO2 thing. And the downtime is crazy. I've seen um, stories and other girls getting it done on Instagram and it looks so crazy. Like um, literally their face is melting off and then it's just coming back and that, oh. I can barely deal with this downtime and staying inside and not going outside. It's crazy. So I feel like I'm going to stick with microneedling because it's just something that I really want to do. This is the first one. I really hope I'm going to get another one in December and then in January just to better my skin. Like it really helps with fine lines and wrinkles and it's just helping me get rid of that old skin and try to regenerate new one for the scars so 
yeah this is how my skin is looking i hope you guys enjoyed um i can leave if you live in houston you want to get facial sun i can leave her in instagram below that is it um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you guys on my next session bye